I have not spoken on my own authority, but the God who sent me. This shows the distinction between Jesus and God. He said, the God who sent me gave me the commandment of what I should say and what I should speak unto you. Meaning, the teachings of Jesus, the doctrines of Jesus, the miracles of Jesus, they do not belong to him, but they all belong to the Almighty God. And that is the reason why Jesus said, in the book of John chapter 7 verse 16, that my teachings are not mine, my doctrines are not mine, but they belong to him who sent me. So if Jesus was sent, the language, the dictionary language that we can use to qualify him is what? A messenger. A messenger of who? Not an ordinary messenger, but a messenger from the almighty God, from the supreme God. You know? So, I have not spoken on my own authority, but the God who sent me gave me the commandment of what I should speak and what I should say unto you. This indicates that Jesus was sent as a messenger. The same thing in the book of John chapter 4, verse 24. Uh, John chapter 4, verse 34. He said, my food is to do the will of him who sent me and to accomplish his job. The same thing in the book of John chapter 6, verse 38. The same Jesus Christ said that, I did not come on earth to do my own will, but I come in order to do the will of Him who sent me. This qualifies Jesus to be a servant of God. Because a servant always does the will of his master. So that is why when you read some other subsequent editions of the Bible, like the New International Version of the Bible, you know, the Jerusalem Bible, the New English Bible, the New King James Version, the Revised Standard Version, the Good News Bible, the Jehovah Witness Bible, the Everyday Bible, and the Capo Christian Bible in the book of Acts chapter 3, verse 13. The book of Acts chapter 3, verse 26. The book of Acts chapter 4, verse 27. And the book of Acts chapter 4, verse 30. You will see where it is written that Jesus is a servant of God. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers had glorified his servant, Jesus. Who is the servant of God? Jesus. Because he always did what God Almighty commanded him to do. He always submitted himself to the authority of the Almighty God. And this is what the Holy Quran has always been telling us. You know, that Jesus was a servant of God.